chance of that series. Can't hear Vasanta. Leonard, we can't hear Vasanta. I think he went offline. Leonard, is Vasanta there? Yes, he's there. This topic is very interesting for all printers, suppliers, and print buyers because in every minute of our life, we work with and we live with colors. Today, color matching has become more complicated process to the printers as there are many printing technologies and machineries are being introduced to the industry daily basis. The most difficult part in printing is to match colors in different process, proving them and convincing customers. Today, we are trying to address these issues and introduce modern technology to overcome these issues through this webinar. Let me introduce you our resource person for the Color Management Forum today. He is a Bachelor in Computer Science from University of Eastern London, <coughs> member of Chartered Institute of IT UK, a Microsoft Certified Professional and a Cisco Certified Network Associate. In his career, he has worked as a technical support engineer in front end solutions of Konica Minolta, HP Indigo Digital Press, and Komori Offset Press, especially given color management training, color calibrations, and doing fingerprint of press. Further to that, he has sound knowledge in setting up pre press production workflows, integrating pre press, press and post press using applications such as ISCO. <coughs> During his career, he has received many valuable training in the field of printing, such as Komori KHS, AI system, and CIP3 integrations, x ray color management systems, Konica Minolta, and HP Indigo front end software application. He was instrumental in introductions, the first full HD flexoplate making system to Sri Lanka, which revolutionized the flexographic printing industry in the country. Starting his career as technical person in printing industry with 20 years experience. Today, he has become the young and energetic CEO in the field. Now, please welcome to the platform CEO of JDC Group, Mr. Dinesh. Yeah. Well, something's muted. Before we start webinar, we will go for a commercial break of our sponsors. Tea, one of the most consumed beverages in the world, second only to water. Today, a large volume of tea is consumed via tea bags. An integral part of this is the tag and the tea envelope. 
which serves both an aesthetic and practical purpose. Our clients are top-rung tea manufacture and export companies. We have been sole suppliers for major brands who have come to expect the quality, reliability and service FlexiPrint provides. Day at FlexiPrint starts with a team of dedicated executive to worker level of energetic young and matured people coming into work with a great smile in their face, working with smiles and finishing the day with a thousand smiles, knowing that they have done the best in producing the tea bag tag or envelope or pyramid mesh tag to run on the kind of sophisticated machines that you use at the maximum speed without you losing any time on your machine. These outstanding efforts have been recognized by numerous accolades bestowed to FlexiPrint by its peers and the print industry. FlexiPrint continues to help power the local and international tea trade with a range of cutting edge solutions for enhanced packaging for today and tomorrow's needs. Hello, now over to you, Dinesh. Thank you, Vasanta. Let yeah. me share with you. Can everybody see my uh, screen? Yeah, we can see that. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Uh, first of all, thank you very much uh, for the SLAP uh, for giving this opportunity to uh, present the pet subject of mine, uh, which is color management. And uh, maybe uh, color management, uh, because, uh, because actually I would have seen my background is from IT. So uh, due to the, you know, the, the technicality and the uh, I got into uh, color management, so and from there onwards, uh, I developed my career uh, into printing and uh, troubleshooting and uh, so on, and uh, getting into different courses like offset, digital printing, and then right now in Flexo. So uh, uh, let me uh, uh, just, I think already a good introduction has been given uh, about me, uh, so hope uh, you will have uh, trust in my ability to uh, deliver uh, uh, within this uh, topic which we have selected today. Um, in fact, we wanted to start as uh, color management fundamentals, but uh, uh, but we thought there, were, there will be a audience from different uh, areas. And uh, uh, so we uh, so because of that, we have extended it to a little bit uh, uh, to the high levels and uh, some more knowledge to be shared, which we can do in uh, the, the webinars to be arranged in the future. So um, just to uh, touch on my overseas trainings for you to have an understanding. So basically I have been trained on uh, Komori, uh, all, all these are factor trainings, uh, Komori KHSAI and then uh, SIP3 integration, then uh, x ray color management systems, uh, also uh, EFI proofing because uh, RIPs, which are mostly used uh, by many uh, vendors. And also I, uh, I, were, I was trained uh, in flexo plate making process uh, in Germany um, and also pre-media services for digital printing like HP Indigo and so on in Australia. And so, so likewise, uh, Konica Minolta front end and HP Indigo and uh, you all know ESCO pre-press solutions and uh, also in tape, uh, uh, industrial tapes like TESA where things matters, uh, you, everything matters when it comes to flexo uh, quality. So um, uh, let me uh, touch upon the agenda today. Uh, it is going to be basics of color management, uh, color calibrations and ICC profiles. And uh, we will talk about device link profile. Uh, you would have heard about ICC profiles and but we will touch upon on the device the, the link profiles as well because it's a little important when it comes to color management. And then um, also spectrophotometers uh, and how we use those uh, for controlling colors and understanding and communicate colors. And uh, about soft proofing, which is very important when you handle files, because if you lose your colors on, uh, on the start itself, then there is no way you can get it back on the press. So the soft proofing is very important and the color conversions are very important. 
So we'll touch upon that. And then the workflow from, uh, from uh, the, uh, capturing from a camera uh, uh, up to the press. How does it flow? And also digital press. And uh, we have to touch upon uh, densitometry as well, because to keep colors under control, densitometry is very important. And uh, there is a special, special function called best match, which I will touch at the last, uh, which is very important to save time on the press and uh, a lot of uh, wastage as well. So, uh, so mostly I have uh, uh, put this presentation in a way it is more practical. Uh, sometimes it can be a little boring as well. Uh, depends on uh, your understanding, uh, but uh, uh, please bear with me if, if it is so. But most, I, I can guarantee you will get some kind of a knowledge. So we are starting from the basics and uh, ending up uh, in uh, uh, areas business about color management as well. So uh, I would like to hear from the audience as well, um, maybe one or two uh, ideas. What do you really, what do you think about color management? Any idea about color management? Uh, before we start. I would love to hear one or two speak out on this. Good morning, sir. Good morning, dear. Uh, this is Arul Muri from uh, India, sir. Wow. I'm well uh, uh, myself and uh, Mr. Sanat have uh, jointly attended print promotion. So I've got the link through Mr. Sanat. Thank you for uh, this wonderful opportunity to attend this uh, wonderful topic, color management. Uh, so according to me, the color management is what to achieve what you see is what you get. So I have to match uh, my uh, soft copy and hard copy with color profiling. Yeah, yes, as a nutshell, yes. So it's basically, uh, it's a workflow to achieve what you see and uh, and uh, and what you see should be what you get. So that's the uh, basic idea about it. So I will put it in a different way and a simple uh, way as well. Uh, it's a process to provide consistent and predictable color with improved communication throughout the workflow. So uh, so it is uh, how we communicate colors without losing uh, information in between. Uh, that's the idea behind it. Um, and uh, we should be able to predict uh, colors because in color management, there is no 100% achievement. Uh, I think you, would, you will all agree because you all use solutions uh, in your uh, presses and uh, also in the pre-press uh, scenario. Um, but uh, idea is to uh, maintain the minimum uh, possible colors uh, from the start to end. So uh, to a customer, we should be able to tell in advance, this is going to be the final outcome. It can be a reduced uh, outcome, but uh, minimized outcome. So, but it has to be communicated beforehand. So this is a process of understanding that and also bringing up uh, into application uh, in different applications. So I will touch upon Photoshop uh, and uh, Illustrator, of course, and then coral roles or certain settings, which you have to be concerned when you handle colors. Uh, there are other applications as well, uh, which are high-end uh, uh, applications used in pre-press. But once you get this uh, idea about the basic idea, uh, then it is a matter of uh, uh, switching it to different, uh, apply it to different uh, applications. So I will use few screens to show what is the process. So this is our challenge right now. Uh, sorry, Mama, may I tell me, May subject ka baasha tu nae ma kata karan da karan wakila porundu na so inda English singala Tamil dekhe tu nae ma meka kava karan wa mahi thena dae metra India katya kuti nae da product English variant paachi karan da vikeli thena wa okolang da monahari katlu wa tibu okolang ona baasha working okolang prashne yom karan pula. So, so in a nutshell, this is the problem that we have. What we see is a lot. 
and uh, what we uh, can achieve is very little, which you can see out over here. So what you see is, I think you can see my cursor. Um, so what you see is a lot. This is the entire color uh, gamut, right? But then again, your scanner can capture this triangle. And then your monitor may be able to display this green area, which is maybe slightly less. It all depends on what monitor you use. There are good monitors uh, nowadays, um, but uh, you need the equipment to calibrate that as well. Then the printer is a uh, printer can achieve certain colors and uh, maybe the press might be a little less there compared to this. So how do we manage these colors? And uh, there are certain techniques used, which we will, uh, which I will explain. Uh, I, Slides to come. So, make a tamay apita tina prashne. Eke ani paata eke ka vidhya ta apita painoa. Eke ni apita eke ni gudak paata val painoa apy asphalt da. Habay scan raking apita ganna pula me trikoni tina paata val vitrai. Eva ke monitor raking apita balan na pula itat samal di itat kada aduye na pula. Iri pas apy printer raking eka vena pataking kawa vena pula. Eke ani sang me area aswagi gatut. Uh, do you see my cursor? Uh, just a cross check. Uh, yeah, we can see uh, the image. You can, right? Yeah. So these areas, like, meva apit achieve karanda berry colors. Then apit mo press se kame ka kiyala. Apit me colors tika apit mona karat apit achieve karanda ber. Ito apit balan no ni meka puli mo puli ma close matche ka ganda tamay try karanda. Iting eka tamay color management dekya apit main ma task ka. So this is what we would like to achieve. So what we are trying to do is we are trying to shrink uh, the, the, the gamut and try to get the common uh, set. So where we might lose colors, but we can predict the colors in a more accurate manner. So that's basically the color management. So uh, as earlier said, what you see should be what you get. So the goal of color management workflow would be, it should be consistent color. That means today you produce, tomorrow it should be the same. And whoever produce the same packaging or uh, print should produce the same thing on whatever device. So that is consistency. And also the predictability, we should be able to predict and also there are brand colors. We should accurately match those colors. And we should be able to reduce waste because this is where the more, most of the waste might would happen, uh, starting from uh, arguments with the customers, and then sometimes uh, losing the job. Sometimes you might lose on your um, proofing ink paper. Then if you don't care and then go get into the press, you might lose on your plates and then the materials. So reducing waste, then the downtime of your press, which is more costlier, and how we communicate in a better manner and educate each other to achieve this goal. So, me ek tamay apita tina lokuma challenge ka apita ekama color ka ham apita me denna pulang ka mat tino ni. Eva game apita accurately ek denna pulang enna to ni. Base stage ka adukar ka enna pulang enno ni hamma process ke me hamma thana ma. Eva game apita eka harita. Um, communicate karagan, they can take in at a hurry with the color, a color, a color, a color, a color, a color, a color, So this is what, this is the main reason you need color management. Because then api a cake at annually make a produce karma. We produce packaging in different companies, different uh, countries, but sometimes it might come to one shelf. So when it comes to the one shelf, wherever it is produced, it has to look alike. So this is our main challenge. So this is the main reasons nowadays all these suppliers, they all communicate digitally using spectrophotometers and they always use color profiles. Some use to share the color profiles. Some sends you a proof from uh, different applications as ISO standards. That is because they want the same thing on the shelf next to each other. So, we have a lot of challenges that we have to make a color, make a shelf, make a bottle, make a gyama. 
कोहे प्रिंट करात कोई राटक का प्रिंट करात एकम विधि एक तीन दो ने एक बैचेस वेना सुना था ये दिन एक ही इन द तमाय सप्लाई ऐसा आप इटर प्रूफ समाल आटो हो सी इन द लेवल ना मेक मैच कर लेवान ने किया ये वास समाट आई सो प्रूफ या करना पड़ा समार वेला आप एक लम कम्युनिकेट करना कलर एक एलएबी वैल्यूस वाले ये ना � so एक लोन टक कलर्स हरी टा मैच कर ला गंदों ने आम गल के कलर्स चरिया मैच पानी वाला टिकी एक्सप्रेस बना मार रहा है so we have to somehow do it so how we do it we use these tools under the umbrella of color management why do we need accurate color because we all we would have all faced these challenges in our day to day work environment you could have I'll put some good brands like Dilma uh, colors and maybe Ahmed greens and uh, Coca-Cola red, Akbar red. So these are different now, red also slight differences. So how do we communicate? Because you can't communicate everything on CMYK. So you need a mechanism to independently communicate colors. So this is where the LAB comes in. We will uh, talk about that on the next slides. Right, how you are going to save waste and keep your staff happy. So this is how the color management is going to help you, as I already explained. Reduce waste and downtime equals save ink, paper, and overtime, electricity, so that you keep your boss happy, your company happy. Then you save on the paper and everything. So it's the same thing I have repeated, sorry. And then it, it uh, in turns, it goes as money and profits. And end of the day, to keep you all happy, increments and incentives. So, so it all ends up uh, increments and incentives. So it's your duty to manage it well, to make uh, everybody happy. Right. So why, why do we need color management? And the main tagline is, if you don't control it, you can't manage it. So I will let you know what are the devices you are going to use to control it and what is the mechanism you are going to use to manage it. Mang aku lantik kian nang, mana wargi equipment tu aku lom pahwi cikaran ni, aku lom kalara ke control karan na. Eka ya biar densitometry, spectrometer, eva wargi kenat kata karan ni. Eva wargi ema, aku lom komo tu meka manage karan ni, kalara management kian na me workflow ke, ekeka part taking aku lom aku tu involve na. Right. So better kalara communication to production. So मेक अमेज़ मारे समाज दंग दंग लोग के वेना मारे दंग आप ही प्रीप्रेस करने पड़े समाज टे वेना राठा वालों टे प्रीप्रेस करना ये क्या नहीं महीने में प्रिंट कराने आप ही आठ का के करना काटा हरी ये बनो एक लोग वेना मशीनी के का प्रिंट कर गा ना डिजिटल वेना पुलांग कन्वेंशनल वेना पुलांग ये तो आप ही को uh, how to co communicate color in a better manner, right? Then most consistent color reproduction. So hammer vitamin, every time you should be able to produce the same colors, same match, and with its same tolerance. So that's another biggest goal. And then fast approvals, less communication, less uh, arguments, and do with a soft proofing or save on the proofing or give a right proof, like ISO certified proof, to a customer to approve. So once you give that, it should be matched on your press. So this is uh, the main main uh, things what we are trying to achieve. This is the reason we need the color management. So what is color? Color kian ni mukha. Can you touch the color? No. Can you smell and see the color? Understand the color? No. So you need something to communicate your color to your colleague or your supplier or, or your customer. So how do we do it? That's the idea. So this is what the, the, the spectrum, what we see. So if you see 400 nanometers to 700 nanometers, what you see, that is apibalana colors, violet in the la, red venakam. Adavad naga pakira colors, naga violet layer in the, uh, red matter mungkin lekuk kandang kita teriade, ini adalah naga kurudala pahwikira colors. In the range kulla, uh, engkau lekuk kandang kita teriade. So we can see these colors 
power and acre type. But there are other things now we use um, um, ultra, uh, we use uh, UV inks and so on, uh, like invisible inks. So that those are used, uh, use are, those are inks which are in these other uh, these things. So that can only be identified using any uh, special devices, like maybe the currency note, uh, invisible inks. So Eva ke inks Eva api security features We use it for security. So, right. So before we start about talking about colors in a depth, you should know the basics of colors as well. So there are certain key things. One is added, adaptive, uh, additive colors process. That is basically now if you take a monitor or maybe any um, uh, uh, camera or a, anything, a scan or which, whichever uses light to capture uh, the image. These, these are technologies called additive color process where red, green, blue is involved, but end of the day, it is what you see is more of yellows, cyans and whites and magentas. So all these combinations, right? So uh, that is uh, um, additive colors, but unfortunately we can't use additive colors on all process to print. So we use subtractive colors, which are cyan, yellow, magenta. Generally, cyan, magenta, yellow, theoretically can be used to achieve any colors, even the blackish or grayish colors, but to get the contrast, that's the reason we call it, uh, call black as the key color. To achieve the contrast, we use black and also to save on inks. So we will talk about uh, um, uh, those things uh, like GCR uh, kind of uh, uh, process uh, in the slides to come. Then, then there is something called device dependent color space and device independent color space. Again, color spaces they can't you know. device independent. Again, device second dependent. Udar na question gatu CMYK kyan ne? It's a device dependent color. Any reasons for me to say that? Because now let's say. I say 100% cyan. You all would have seen cyan from different, different manufacturers. Of course, nowadays it's more of standardized, but still you will see different, different cyans. So there will be a slight difference in the base colors. So if I say it's 100% cyan and somebody else says 100% cyan, can it be the same? It is more of a dependent color. It's, it's it, you can't, it's not an independent, color to communicate or maybe do any uh, uh, calculations and achieve a proper synchronization between the colors. Monkey neka ter no yati mahitan ne eke ane cyan. Mama cyan siya ki neka hai. Tawa ki neka cyan siya ki neka hai. Samar vila wata vena svenna bula. Eto pigments eke ka ten rolling aragin na ink sadhan wa standardization tip bata eke vena svenna ida te na. Right? So eke ta tamai LAB ki na concept ka pao chikar na loke. Then Ogolam with overseas suppliers, and then the reputed companies will have a turn to Ogolam power chip on spectrophotometers. Evelyn power chip in me, and then color communication sort of power chip on me, color monitor calibration current hurry, only the Akinabula, right? Magi garment take a measure current on a pula. You think Evel to power chip on me, LAB can a color space, a Kakatapi can a device independent color space. So color space are the corning and are ready with the man, the only dependent on the independent. So it is very important for us to understand. Right. Just a small exercise. I don't know whether it's a Saturday. Uh, not. Uh, I mean, I don't know whether you had enough sleep yesterday night. <laughs> so let's check your eye first. Okay. So uh, do you think you can trust your eye? Amila, maybe you can comment on that. No, for color management, you cannot trust your eye. Yes. So, um, yes, as he rightly said, yes, you can't trust your eyes. But, but we all we all know the, that basic. But uh, just if you take maybe fifty out of hundred times when you communicate colors and other things, we will forget about it. Mostly, we will forget about it. So, I will just give you an understanding about that. Yeah. Right. This is called color perception. These are basic theories of color management. 
So, uh, okulang metan na hamo wagi inno press operators la inna pulang, samar la dami subject ka dana inna pulang. So, inna mama hamo ikam wagi roughly touch ka noa. Uh, ito teriya da work kailan da, nanga mela la touch pan ro mela subject ka yung uh, colors la. So, ito ninga ore color ni nekring la. Do you think these two colors are same? I mean to say that the middle part of it. Maybe you can give a guess. Yes. For your eyes, do you see these colors same or different? I mean to say the, uh, the, the, the middle part, middle square. Yeah, I see that not same. Yeah. Do you see the same? Right, I'll come to that. So no, uh, okay. yeah, majority of, yeah, majority would definitely say, if, if you're a layman, you would say these colors are different. These colors in the in the middle is different. So now, do you see it's different? Still, for me, it's still slightly different. It's the same. So this is called the color perception. So basically, can you see that when the color is with a background with a different shade, it totally looks different. So your eye can fool you very easily. And uh, sometimes you maybe make you a fool when you are trying to, you know, use the spectrophotometer. Sometimes end of the day, what you need is what you, like, you know, you should see what you want, right? So when you really measure it, it might look, give you the right, uh, it's an equal color, but for the naked layman eye, these colors will look different based on your background. So the reason I wanted to emphasize on this is based on your background or maybe the the, the influence of other colors might give you a wrong prediction on the color what you are targeting at. Sometimes you might be uh, aiming at a different uh, objective or maybe to achieve something which is not really the truth. Again, the same exercise in a different way. So you can see totally, now in this you can easily see the middle part is totally different. Do you agree with me? Yeah, yes. so it is yes. mainly because of your background. background. So, yes, so the main reason you have to be very conscious and that is the reason when you take your, your when, you, when you're working spaces and everything, mostly even Photoshop background or Illustrator background, the applications, mostly would be a gray back or a gray base or maybe your, even your, your proofing tables or on your press, most of the things will be gray related or neutral colors, like very uh, uh, creamy or maybe very light colors. Because these colors otherwise will make you to see colors in a wrong manner. That's called the color perception and the background influence. Right, just a small exercise. Just look at these four dots in the middle for 15 seconds, right? I don't know, somebody would have already seen it, but somebody would have not. If you see that, now you see a kind of a ghost kind of a thing, right? So just see that for 15 seconds, concentrate on that. I will let you that 15 seconds and then see a blank uh, um, wall, maybe a white or cream, and then focus a little bit and then blink your eyes. Yes. Do you see something? Yes. Yeah. So, uh, so this is your eye. You, you can't believe it. It's the same here. So when you see a white background, do you see colors? Do you see Buddha in color? Yes. Yeah, yes. 
So this is again a small exercises just to keep you uh, alive and uh, interesting, right? So see oh, the eyes are, you, you can't believe your eyes at all, right? So still, do you believe your eyes? I don't think so. So anymore, don't use your eyes for <laughs> matching colors, right? Okay, so difficult team color communication. There are five factors which basically affect or influence your colors. You can have factors paha, you can have paha tamai, colors, ekega vidyata, apita pena, hetu enna pula, deva. Meva apita samara velavata, apita e api work kek a vada karana velavati, apita meva amata kuena velaval tino. It was api ekega deva, I just karana trigger. If you have a make a theorem, you can use the same thing. That is the color communicate. That is color of the color. In the Anji factors, in the Anji carnangal, the colors are different. One day, you can use light. Always you have to use the right light source. Second, size can make a big difference in color. So that, that's the reason we have shown that in this manner. And third one is the angle. The angle at what you are looking at. Ninga in the pakatala in the ponatala in the in the park ringa. You can open a koi path in the mega balang. Aking mega depend on open a pain a part of Venus in Idathina. Eva game at a mai then already a pikatakara game as we already spoken. The background makes a big difference in terms of representing colors. So you have to make sure these things are put in place in the right manner. Or hari vidya da meva tika daagat nattam. The sariya naaga pavatu kolla tika naaga sariya varaya sariya tiki. Engle ke kala sa sariya paakamudiya the. Ekhe na apita kala sariya te balaganda bari bhi. Iting ekada tamai apy ayat na valing samara deval apy paavichikaran. Ito orda colors kada karan ko When you speak about colors, we should use those equipments to communicate colors. So never ever Talk about colors in areas where the light is not in a proper shape or proper light is used or proper equipment is used. Right. What is the fifth one? This is a question for you all. I spoke about four. First one is the The substrate. Observer? Yes. Yeah, observe, of course, can be uh, also a reason. Uh, yeah, but then we are not trying to use, uh, yeah, uh, your eye can also can be uh, influential on this. The substrate? Yes. Substrate of the printing material? Correct. Correct. So this also, because we all know this, we all know this. I'm trying to emphasize this because whenever you when you, whenever you're trying to match colors or whatever, please understand these things plays a big part on, on your uh, color. So try to eliminate those factors using your equipments because in the equipments also there are facilities to so eliminate and check whether the colors are correct and so on. Or you can understand whether it's the, uh, the, the paper is making the uh, difference. So uh, we will, uh, I will explain you uh, when we touch on the densitometry side of it, right? So this is the substrate as you all correctly answer. And also maybe the eye vision or everything can play a part as well. Right. Quickly, we'll move on to uh, the, uh, I think it's 1042. So we'll quickly move on to the spectrophotometers. Um, what do you see? Uh, one of the equipments you would have seen most in the most of your uh, presses, right? So this is one of the key equipment to keep colors under control. So these are, two different types of spectrophotometers which are used in our industry because there are spectrophotometers used in garment industry and different other industries. These are two different things. So you should understand these two are different. One is a handheld device, which is used in your uh, press room, which is a handheld, handheld spectrophotometer. Make a power unit. This is another unit, which is used for color calibration, color calibration of monitors, color calibrations of your uh, print or digital press, 
or maybe your press able to pouch can make a pouch can chat to read right but it does but it but it has tools these equipments come with tool where you can use this equipment also that is a reader to compare colors also you can measure the light maybe this might be uh, new to uh, some people that is now i am working here right so i can i make sure that this slide is correct so you can use this device with the application that they provide to measure your ambient light it's very important so we always recommend to use d50 or d65 lights so you, maybe you can use this equipment to uh, check the light intensity हरियर Correct. Always you get something to match, right? So unless you see it correctly, how you are going to do? It. So there are gadgets and equipments and good lights nowadays. You can, but this unit can be used to measure those ambient lights uh, to confirm whether it is D50 or D65 and giving you the ad enough light to see colors correctly. Right. Let's speak about later. And the main thing, how many of you all know colors are measured in this form? That is, let's say when you use a spectrophotometer to measure this, how, how do you really get these colors captured? Right? So this is how it is being captured. So using filters in the machine, it captures this color in this spectral curve. So this color implies to the spectral curve. So what you see, the majority part is basically the color which you think is the color, right? spectral curve present so the method of adding a thin part of the my or two part of the inner part. The acre of my volunt, a part of the open to paint. The spectral curve of our in the curve of which then you get color parking. So, so upon the other the end up put the line color on the other so upon the other. Right. So this is called the, the best way to communicate color. So we now we disprove or we, we prove that your eye is not the suitable thing to match colors or see colors in a proper way right so that's the reason now we use the lab values to communicate so this is how the colors are measured and this is how the colors are represented so lab stands for like l is for uh, the lightness channel that is white right green red again a plus path Eka red, other the plus packet bochina red, minus packet bochina green, minus a. Are they maritan? Lightness channel. It's a three dimensional space. So, like L stands for lightness, and A is basically red and green values from minus to plus, and blue to yellow, minus to plus. So, any color what you see in any space, it can be uh, additive or subtractive, both colors can be plotted into this spectrum or maybe plotted in LAB uh, three-dimensional space. So in some other way, you should know these things as well. Now we mostly talk about LAB. There's something called LCH, right? So it's again, C stands for the chroma and Q for the uh, color differences. So you can see the saturation comes towards the outside and your gray or the dirtiness comes towards the inside, right? The same way you can put it in a two dimensional space uh, like this, and you can show the light channel like this. So this is the LAB uh, stands for. There is no particular 
uh, this thing for A or B. It's just a uh, X, Y, Z. If you right. This is another way to talk about it. If it is going towards the inside, it is gray. If it is going through the uh, uh, outer, outer side, it is vibrant color. If it is moving towards this way, it is more be becoming richer. And if it moves towards this way, it becomes dark. And if the color is moving towards this way, it's lighter. And if it is moving towards this way, it is brighter. So the color LAB, by the LAB values, they got the Apita make make the agana kitana pulang, koi patter to me part a yanikin. Right? May values the agana, apita put that idea ga gana pulang basic max for gapita or what hitagana pulang, nanga pitiana pulang coordinates and what may part a may better move in the killer. Eka api a bela with it ameka balala, edition eka gano, nekura bidana, right? May minus patter diana, eka blue patter diana. Right? So eka api compacter la balana pula. Right, so we adjustments karna kota, LAP values are again up it a cut up it a indication act with the gana pulam because not everybody colors color experts. But when you have a spectrophotometer, you can be a color expert if you know the basic theories of this. Right. Right. So what is delta E? So delta E is basically what we mostly communicate. Generally, one less than one nang apita as well at a pain. If it is less than one, we can't see the difference. If it is more than one, we will, uh, if, you have, if you have a trained eye, you will see it. But generally for labels and tags and things, two is the acceptable standards. And up to three, a layman wouldn't see the difference. That is delta e thuna venaka, sama nek connect a pain in a venasa. Have I eat a vada vedi venapota, o nek connect a pain or may part of the venas. Right, but studies shows these are things which I have taken from the uh, industry guides and so on. Six to seven sometimes accepted by the bias. There are, but three or less is the ideal, and two is the best. Right, and keep in mind if it is process colors, it's a you know accumulation of deviation. So it has to be less than one. So so, we will make a product understand Karagano, make a mathematical formula with the delta E can make a mathematical formula just to understand because you know you are working with this in and out every day. So, you should know what you are talking about. So, this is basic mathematics used to define colors. Uh, so, uh, you use um, mathematics to identify the difference. So may have some lot of all level A level can put up simple maths, right? You think make a tamai colors when a swena with the api colors defined with any hat api katagarani L A B values. Right. Now we'll go to the viewing conditions. Now you see the photo on this, yeah, looks different in different color lightings. So that's that's the main trickiest area. So Always recommended to have a color viewing booth or a proof station, or nowadays you can uh, buy cheaper versions of uh, um, tube lights and things, which also fairly giving reasonable uh, uh, results. But if you really see how these also tubes, but it has proper ballast and other things, which actually really gives you that uh, light, right light intensity. So if you don't have uh, much in uh, uh, the money to invest or whatever on this equipment, maybe you can have a basic one and you use your spectrophotometer, that is the chart reader, to measure and see whether these colors are, whether your lights are under control. So please make sure you don't look at colors. Generally, it's recommended to use D65, again, 6,500 Kelvin. Kelvin uh, lights on use on D65 or D50, printing industry D50. But generally, now daylight is D65. So both are acceptable. It all, but important thing is you should tell the other partner who is or other buyer or whoever, this is the condition under what I have measured the color, I have looked at the color, I have matched the color. That's the most important thing. So and it's a kinata kiyaneka, mamma, color, make a tamai, color, balatine. 
right me me paramala me main idea ka avilla e basics tika hamotama press operate indala hamotama meka danuma chakarana eka thamai idea ka samara lata samara okolanta samara ata meka parana kathawak wenna puluwan godak wela walata but samara e poddam matak karana right meka thawa deya dan okolam daylight eka measure karana kota when you measure your daylight mota lay light ane measure wanninga na the curve the spectral curve for colors and light everything it's the same thing so you can see the daylight has a very smooth spectral curve so that's the reason we use the daylight to ka match colors because we all know in printing industry uh, reflex blue ekai blue ekai athara thiyenne podi podi parathara yana chuttak ehita giyoth blue wenawa chuttak ehita giyoth purple wenawa ithin api hari tanaka giilla meka value wenak naththam dan mekai wenne dan me balanna me wage light ekak thibbud me wage spikes thiyena light ekak apita thibbud me wage partaval බලන්න සුදුසුම නැහැ සම්පූර්ණයෙන්ම වෙනස් අපි දැන් කලර් මැනේජ්මන්ට් ගොඩාක් ෆීල්ඩ් ෆීල්ඩ් එකේ අපි කැලිබ්‍රේෂන්ස් කරනවා ඩිජිටල් ප්‍රොසෙස් එහෙම කරනවා අපි සමහරලට මේකට අවු වෙනවා ඇයි ඉතින් අපි ඔක්කොම කතා කරලා අන්තිමට ඒක ෆොලෝ වෙන්න ඇත රයිට් බලද්දි පාවිච්චි කරලා තියෙන ලයිට් එක හරියට නැහැ එතකොට when you start working with color always make sure these basics are intact intact otherwise there is no point talking or wasting your time on that exercise right so this is the main reason for that uh, main key reason technically for you to choose the right light meka alut deyakda nattam mekat danna deyak wenna puluwa godak ayata right next thing is the gray balance right so gray balance kiyana eka thamai api den patra wala hama ekema hetu patra kiyana api tag gala mem print kara අනිත් පැත්තට යන්න ඕන. ඉතින් අපිට බෑ CMY එකේ ඔක්කොම බලලා කරගෙන ඉන්න සමාලට වෙලා මදි වෙන්න පුළුවන්. එතකොට එතන වැඩියෙන්ම බලන්නේ ග්‍රේ එක. ග්‍රේ එක හරියට තියෙනවා නම් අනිත් එක ඔටෝමැටිකලි ඒක හරියට වැටිලා තියෙනවා කියන එක තමයි තේරුම. right? so you can see here now it is more trickier. not like those days we only rely on densities. so we think when the densities are right everything will be in place. it's not the case. and i think most of the reputed companies are using uh, iso standards and applications uh, i can't, i wouldn't mention any names here but there there are different applications to standardize your press and also to uh, certify your print and so on so those are applications are mainly working on these principles of dot percentage dot gain then uh, uh, mostly on the gray balance and uh, the, the the primary color uh, lab values this is how it works so we will talk about slightly on that as well on the next slides right so here the press dot gain is totally off you can see here my gray is not matching that is three color gray with one color gray it's not equal because of my dot gain my gain my dot has grown so because of that it has become darker and everything has gone for the six so good balance means you basically see a good print contrast between light and dark shades and easily you get your gray sorted then if you see here this is again the hues are off that means the hue means the color is totally like you know the your lab's of your cyan magenta yellow is different because of that your colors are different you are not getting your great right so you should be all, you should always check your incoming stock because we all human we make mistakes whatever standards we have things can go wrong when the time uh, you know we get little time to do things so we always make sure we have to check with the spectrophotometer whether the incoming stocks are right because otherwise you will be losing a lot on long run on the press so this is a just an enlarged version of the same thing just to give you an understanding how a gray balance should be so if this is correct ogolanta godak 100 ak wede hari meka waradi na api koi mehen prashna wenna thula idila idu plech idena inda gray balance plech idena mara print total ave flat right so mara color inda saturation idila vithyasam padala mara ad lab values eduthu paathinga na inda cmyk in the values in the lab values different can you see the difference 
this cyan is different from this. This magenta is different from this. In Flexo, we see a lot. I think all who are in the Flexo can, uh, you know, you know that these problems, it can go wrong in many ways. So offset, we are lucky, like sometimes it's a little controlled and more much standardized, right? So it doesn't mean solid uh, ink density is different TVI. That means who are gray balancing at a metana here to a ink density sticker hurry, have a dot sticker bridge jala hari when a natang dot gain like a very well hari natang press karna got a press a game pressure like a blanket like a monahari prashna kinda make part a gray hari at a in in a dark so a kata main here to a okla pa chikarna uh a process a kit in a prashna so it got a kata okla and a pull on kama tin on a first basic sticker hari at a tin on the kinda check karaka eva ki matamai method in balana okla and a solid intensity acre Arita Tienoa, Habei, Ogolange, Grey Balancing Harit in it. Mankaling Kabuka, where the Ekan Metana Prashnit in a solid sticker hurry, eight grey stick in an air, Metana solid sticker where the aching density make a hurry in an egg in the Ketu deca penatula, Eka Kogolange Prasikit in a control licking of luck in the Venatula, not some basic colors of the initial Natula. Right. Make an uh, idea ka good up, people practically make a face curl at the problem. Make, make a topic can ink trapping, uh -huh. right? Over on the Venice of Pena, Mahitan make Hamoto make a May Thirumatina Kalamahita Nair, Akan, Api, Samaning, Sire, Electric, Pathamata, Electric, Pala, Electric, Pala, Electric, Pala, Electric, Pala, Electric, Pala, Electric, Pala, Electric, Hello. Yeah. So uh, if you see cyan and magenta here, right? Generally, we would expect 100% over 100%. Even on the Ogolangi plate, right? You can Ogolangi plate, plate, cyan, magenta, 100%. Anal, print result, is it back up on the print result? Dinesh, Dinesh, hold on a second. Yeah. Lenard, Lenard. Uh, Leonard, you can control the, the participant uh, noise, Leonard. You, ca you can mute all the guys, otherwise it's quite disturbed. Okay, Dinesh. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, thanks for that, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, make a ink trapping, then you can color trapping, then you can ink trapping, then you can go to paint on either. Make a cyan, cyan or magenta, where you can see the blue. If you have a good color, you can see the color of the color. If you have a thin color, this changes the, the color what you get. This is the this is the area we always face biggest problems. We are, when, it, when it, In flexo industry mainly, right? When we go to a press, now if you do a fingerprint, that means you give the same image or same plate to two uh, customers, when you print and get it, the basic colors of blue, which is combination of the basic colors of cyan and magenta, most probably wouldn't be blue. So it, it will be uh, sometimes if it's a good ink, it will be blue, but mostly it will be magenta. So this is where we have to focus. So incoming ink kak harieta transfer vena ada kine kat balan hari natang ink ke ti na prasnya kine ke balan nat apitu spectrophotometer pauji karena bola. You can use your spectrophotometer to check these ink trapping. I will uh, touch be in detail on the next, uh, the, the last slides. You can use this as an indication to understand your ink, right? So uh, always make it a point because if your ink is a good ink, the first ink and the second, the second ink which falls on the first ink has, has to sit more than 90%. Theoretically, if it is 100%, it is entirely blue, but you won't get that. But at least you have to find an ink which gives you that the best combination. And the operator should be smart enough. Where operator can be smart and no name, image of Balala, ink or Venaskarla Pinkaranath Pula. Apita cyan, magenta, yellow, black, kile, unknown, kineka, 
ोमीटर्ट It's not just for densities or dot gains or dot percentage, right? And LEDs, right? Just I'll uh, I think I have to rush in a yeah it's a, around one hour. Uh, it's around eleven four now. We will stop it at eleven fifteen for a short break because uh, the important parts are also coming in the next slides. So this is just to give an indication when the solid ink density changes. The looks look and feel changes. So even though you put the same amount of ink in different substrates, you will get solid densities, different solid densities, and looks uh, different based on your white. So even when you buy a paper, you should be able to measure it using a spectrophotometer and and standardize that this is the right uh, paper what you are choosing. So those are like you know the ISO standards. You can get it from uh, the the other color experts, uh, whoever. You know, selling these things, so they will give you an indication uh, the, on what are the values to target. So, just to give an idea about uh, FOGRA thirty nine standards or ISO, this is what uh, uh, generally you would see on the proofs. What you, you uh, what you receive uh, from uh, reputed uh, buyers or uh, maybe the printers, sub, you know, who subcontract you, they will give you a, a proof with this kind of a uh, OK sheet. This is basically the Fogra uh, Grafogra uh, uh, test form version 3.3.0a. Uh, basically, this will give an indication when you use it, uh, use and scan it using a spectrophotometer chart reader, a pass or fail indicator. It's the same thing what you use on the press also to uh, uh, make sure that your print is within the specification, because whatever we talk, whatever we say, these are the standards. You all know, as experienced printers, with the tools available right now, you know not always stick to your standards or ISOs, whatever. Sometimes you might have your own standard. Why are the density of meter what are we not saying? No, Kulam, here to why are the press again? Why are that? No, why are the why are the paper again? Why are that? No, why are the ink again? Why are that? No, it's what? Why are some other people are that? Identify that again? No, matter what, no, may density so in that my print again? No, no, how do my quality again? Now, by challenges. To maintain that same quality throughout your process and communicate the same thing to your end user, right? So I will just give you a, a, a target to aim at. Science should be one point four five plus or minus point one. Magenta is also same, and then yellow uh, is one, and uh, the black is one point seven, right? So this is just to start to get a start, but you can. Play around with your densities, but please standardize and make it. But these are the uh, old ways of doing things. But nowadays, LAB value is also used uh, to identify uh, the base colors and so on. So make make it you know in the chart level uh, patches are made. Because where you will uh, the read pani na what a proof for the standard layer kind. Let me also standard layer kind. Will go okay. So if you have a reputed rip. Uh, on the color proof itself, you can get a certified proof printed on it. So you know always it is within the specs. Then uh, just to touch about the color Pantone colors, you all know we mostly print on CMYK, but whatever we are unable to print on CMYK, that's that's the reason we use the Pantone colors. There are basic colors as mentioned over here. These are the colors used to produce the entire colors over in this uh, guide. Right, so the, the generally you get these indications also how what what the mixture should be. So uh, I'm highlighting this because we are touching on the digital printing as well because digital printing is then again it's a CMYK process, but we can achieve a lot of colors using the CMYK because it's it has a vibrant color. You can make it on the color may vibrancy at the end on the there is a colors on the pain a colors in the in the bright colors in the. अभी तो make up आ चुका है लस गुड़ाक पेंटोन कलर सभी तो match करेगा ना पूरा Right, 
කේතුව ඩිජිටල් ප්‍රින්ටිං එකේ පොඩි ඩොට්ස් පාවිච්චි කරන ඉඳලා අපිට අර පැන්ටෝන් කලර් එක මැච් කරාට ඒක පේන්නේ නැහැ අර ඩොට්ස් ඩොට්ස් වගේ පේන්නේ නැහැ සෝ අපි මම ඒ ගැනත් පොඩ්ඩක් පෙන්වන්න කැලිබ්‍රේෂන්ස් කරන විදිහට රයිට් රයිට් so uh, we will take a short break maybe 10 minutes uh, i think because i have few other slides to cover which is which is more important for you all right uh, let's take a 10 minutes break and then then get back because this is a little serious uh, compared to what we uh, did before so uh, over to you uh, vasanta dinesh i can hear you yes yeah uh, yeah shall we take a uh, 10 minutes break and uh, start this profiling side of it because it's more uh, important and interesting yeah okay dinesh thank you very much dinesh for your long marathon webinar uh, we'll thank go you. for a commercial break of our sponsors till you come thank you Tea, one of the most consumed beverages in the world, second only to water. Today a large volume of tea is consumed via tea bags. An integral part of this is the tag and the tea envelope, which serves both an aesthetic and practical purpose. Our clients are top-rung tea manufacturer and export companies. We have been sole suppliers for major brands who have come to expect the quality reliability and service flexiprint provides day at flexiprint starts with a team of dedicated executive to worker level of energetic young and matured people coming into work with a great smile in their face working with smiles and finishing the day with a thousand smiles knowing that they have done the best in producing the tea bag tag or envelope or pyramid mesh tag to run on the kind of sophisticated machines that you use at the maximum speed without you losing any time on your machine these outstanding efforts have been recognized by numerous accolades bestowed to flexiprint by its peers and the print industry flexiprint continues to help power the local and international tea trade with a range of cutting edge solutions for enhanced packaging for today and tomorrow's needs dear friends now let's go for a short 10 minutes break until dinesh is start in his webinar again thank you
I wish I could remember it, but it's been a while since everything was okay. <laughs> Hello, uh, then uh, Dinesh, Mr. Dinesh, the Vinadi parking, I came again. I will be like a Patangan, no, like a Patangan, the Kang, a participants, not a monohari, based on Mando, Catalog, Pashnia, Tianana, chat box, second, then make a Danda Pulua, the other to go up to take a Badala, the Bibineka, Yana Gaman, up to Evata, to the Rusapan that Pulua, Ekinda, Malaburutina, participants, not come on. Even now, Monari Pashna Tiana, a chat box, second me, Osta, the Yumukaraki. Stuti Yes, Peter. Okay, okay. Uh, wasn't I there? Yes, until I can hear you. Okay, uh, wasn't I, can I make an announcement to the audience? Uh, yeah, already I have done it in single Right, okay. Uh, uh, I go on. Uh, good morning and Anivarkumini uh, Kali Vanakam. I think we had a commercial break uh, with uh, Dinesh Mervin. Uh, he did a wonderful session uh, uh, on color management. So until he come back, uh, let me give some uh, announcement on behalf of the Sri Lanka uh, Association of uh, Printers. Uh, as our president, uh, Mr. Peter Decker, uh, outlined in the month of uh, July, uh, this year is meant for uh, training and development. Uh, this year is meant for learning. Uh, so I wish the members of SLAP to engage uh, with us uh, for better training and uh, development. Uh, so the president made a, a subcommittee on training and development headed by our first vice president, uh, Mr. Viraj Jasuria, and along with uh, Mr. Malinda Tednakor. Uh, so this particular committee, I think this is their first uh, webinar. And this committee is continue to do a training and development program through Zoom, uh, probably on Saturdays. So based on that, uh, 30th of October, which is next Saturday, uh, same time, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m., uh, we do have another webinar coming up uh, from Ernst & Young. And it's very relevant to the conditions what we face today. It's all about uh, adapting the digital technologies, technologies uh, to convert a current crisis into uh, opportunities. Uh, I think it's a very valuable uh, webinar they have organized. So I wish the participant to uh, continue to be engaged with SLAP uh, for their training program. So uh, please keep the date and time free next Saturday, which is 30th of October, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, actually, it's a trilingual workshop uh, as we uh, see from Dinesh, and this workshop is also trilingual. Singular, English, and Tamil. 
so I wish the members of uh, SLAP uh, to join us and uh, get uh, uh, the, the, the total advantage of our training and development uh, subcommittee. Thank you, Vasanta. We can proceed further. Thank you, Sandeep. Marvin is back. Marvin, are you ready? Marvin, now again, platform is for you to do your webinars. Yes. Marvin, you are muted. Okay. Yes, yes, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Thank you, I'll share my screen. So, uh, can you all hear me and see the screen? You can say everything, Dinesh. You can continue. That's great. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Right. Now we'll go to the practical side of it. Okay. So this is uh, the most important thing: is color profiles. I think this is not. Uh, this may not be. Uh, not everybody's uh, interest, or maybe uh, this is. But this plays a big part in the process. So let's, uh, uh, I have uh, taken some screenshot of uh, certain uh, applications which are uh, heavily used in the market. Um, and, um, uh, but uh, I am 100% sure uh, majority of the well reputed brands or uh, application will have the similar functionality. And uh, so maybe it's, it's a matter of, uh, so what I feel is challenging in color management is basically not the subject, but maybe the uh, maybe we, we have to adapt to different uh, platforms. So, uh, so the knowledge is what is more important um, to do that. So I will share that one with you all. So maybe you can um, utilize on your day-to-day -day work with different applications. So, uh, Let's talk about the color profiles. Uh, just to give an understanding about color profile, as I explained to you before, color profile is a little bit of a paint, a little bit of camera, a little bit of scanner, a little bit of printer, a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a uh, diagram make it a plot karagan and at the time of the spectral may make uh, information a car again a chart again read karala may wagi profile like hadala a profile like a uh, capacity of the balagan the pool so we basically use this tool uh, to Sorry about it. Yeah, so basically we use this tool to uh, define uh, the uh, the uh, uh, define the spectrum of your device, each and every device, right? So you can easily see Adobe RGB, which is heavily used in printing uh, to receive files, because all uh, keep in mind, whatever you capture, it will be in an RGB form. So we have to live with it, right? So, but we have to handle it safe. So it can be Adobe RGB or sRGB. So I will show you the difference between these two and how you can see that. So technically now you can see Adobe RGB can cover more colors. sRGB has a very limited color space. And then if you take your ISO or maybe your offset press uh, spectrum, it will it's further lessened. And uh, so I think I, I saw some comments uh, on the on the chat. Uh, somebody has uh, yeah uh, commented on uh, UV inks. Yes, of course. When you use UV inks in Flexo or in Offset, you get a better uh, color reproduction. And uh, but still, you wouldn't get what you uh, really capture, right? But then uh, again, UV also has its own uh, uh, problems as well, right? Or limitations. So this is how generally a color manage, uh, a color profile can be loaded into a software with a basic software what you get uh, with these uh, equipments and see your capability or your machine's capability. So I have taken three uh, uh, spec, uh, uh, gamuts here to show you the difference. Generally, this is the SRGB. 
So you know sRGB itself already a less uh, uh, when it comes to Adobe RGB, but it has its own goods, goods and bad. So I will I will show you that practically. Then you see this ordinary CMYK, and nowadays you get some machine uh, some machineries with this high chroma and so on. That is basically what they are doing. Like you know, if you uh, look into this HP, uh, sorry, uh, these uh, platforms where you digital printing uh, platforms where you can see they use multiple colors, or maybe if you take Epson proof, uh, they have uh, 12, uh, 11, 12 colors to achieve these colors, which are not possible with the standard uh, ordinary color. Because at the end of the day, to give a proof to the customer, you have to use your Epson or maybe HP or whatever to uh, get the uh, Pantone color simulated as well. So you are that's the reason they come up with all these additional colors and where you can create your profile and you still you know, get those Pantone simulated uh, around 99%, I think 97 or 99% can be established on your normal um, desktop in, uh, or inkjet printer, right? So that's how they do it. They, use, they introduce new colors like violet or maybe blue, greens or uh, orange, any of those, those colors to um, enhance the spectrum. So that can be technically qualified. So I would suggest for you to understand, uh, to put this in practice, you can do, you can print these fingerprints and get a profile done on different combination of ink, paper, press, dot gains, and so on, and compare these gamuts. You can put on top of each other and understand your limitations of your press or your printer or your process or your paper. You got my point, right? The ink. So these are the ways technically you qualify a product rather than uh, on uh, you know relationships or maybe on uh, brands because there are products which may perform better than a good brands as well. You never know. So this is the way you compare those things. I will show you how the profiles are done. Right. So when it comes to that, this gamut mapping plays a big part. So without understanding that gamut mapping, you will be using the color management in a wrong way. Right, so the, the color management system basically now Windows has its own color management engine, and then Ad, Apple has its own color management engine. Adobe has its own color management engine. Then other applications, well reputed applications, they have their brain, which is basically the color management engine, which what is most important when you handle colors. Whatever you calibrate, you create, and give it to the uh, software software should be able to professionally handle it without loss on the on the algorithms right so this is called the color engine and then then it uses a, a technique called color uh, gamut mapping which is basically nothing but this then balanda then ape cmyk the make the map it a pain ape print karana pula ape porima colors you think ape meter da dekka karanna bani ithara ape monada karanna ona apita rgb king Scanning image kawanam, egg it's a malata color thina bulla may color may raumatin ekina color. So egg up a press the key print current back. It would appi epson printer carry HP printer carry moke hari, api duna we give a print to the customer which is flashy but unachievable on the press. So it's not going to help either of us. So what you do is you use this gamut mapping to convert or translate these colors or bring back these colors into your spectrum and try to match it. So this is how the gamut mappings really work. So what is this perceptual gamut mapping? You will see this in and out uh, in your, uh, in your when you use applications like Illustrator, Coral Pro, Adobe, Esco, whatever, you know, whatever the platforms uh, accepted as, as a, you know, uh, standard platforms in this market, what you will see, uh, uh, you will see this word uh, perceptual, then you will uh, see relative, you will see absolute, you will see saturation. So you should know how to how to use it and what you are getting out of it, right? So our recommendation on printing is always, always relative, right? I will explain you, um, but this perceptual is also used mostly on photography because photography, you try to keep this, uh, uh, the detail, now that's what the importance of sRGB uh, over Adobe RGB also. Adobe RGB is a good color space where you can produce a lot of colors, but when it comes to subtle differences 
of like let's say if you take my face it will have all sort of shades lights little slight differences right so those colors sometimes this color might be out of gamut the other color might be still inside the gamut right but there is a relationship right the dark and the light color has a relationship right so the, unless you maintain because as human we always compare with something and look at it so initially we looked at uh, this color perception also is kind of that right so this perceptual what that does is when it moves the color it moves with the relationship itself right so what it does is let's say there are there were a and b a, a, there are two spots right when it moves the color it will move other colors also in to keep that relationship do you get my point that is, let's say there is a color here there is another color here when you this color you can't achieve make color achieve karanna pe ay oka thiyena eli right ya athulta giyena kodiya mokada karanna metena thiyena color ekak chuttak athulta ga etoda ya ara 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 relationship ekak maintain karanawa etokota ara ඔයගලන්ගේ අප්ස් ඇන්ඩ් ඩවුන්ස් ටික පේනවා හැබැයි කලර්ස් දෙකම අවුට් වෙනවා. ඒ කියන්නේ අවුට් වෙනවා කියන්නේ මේ ඩල් වෙනවා. රයිට්. රයිට්. ඒක තේරෙනවා නේ. ඔයගලන්ගේ ඔයගලන් කිසි දාන ඉඳලාද පර්සෙප්ෂුවල් කලර් ස්පෙක්ට් එක තනිය යූස් කරන්න එකලා ඊංග පාක් කරලා ඉඳලා තියෙන අචීව් කරන්න එකලාද ඔයගොඩ ප්‍රෙස් ලයි වලා තියෙනවා ඊංග අචීව් කරන්න නම් අපි ඔය වලි ලේයර් එක කලර උල්ලුක්ලා කොන්ට්‍රෝල් එකලා දෙන්න සේ දෙන්න උල්ලුක්ලා ඉන්නෝර කලර් වෙන දාද කිට්ට අන්ද කලරින් සේත් අන්ද රිලේෂන්ෂිප් අන්ද ඩිස්ටන්ස් or car ke related distance maintain karana mari it pushes when i move other one also moves but you are losing the color for both the color so you are using your color saturations and things but you are giving a color which is achievable on the press and you are still maintaining those variations i will show that practically on when i uh, explain maybe i will uh, use my uh, photoshop right now and show you the difference you can see my photoshop right image right so here there is something called assign profile right so this is very important because all of you are using profiles but maybe knowing or not without knowing right so you see now my working space is srgb always the standard comes as srgb right so when you switch back to adobe now i already showed you all adobe is always a better color game right but can you see a difference where certain details being lost from adobe do you see focus here i need a yes because i i don't know whether you on your screens you can see this no oh, it's visible dinesh it's visible right yeah. right so this is what i am trying to explain the main reason we all use this srgb as a standard or maybe i if i'm not wrong i'll check that also if you go to the color settings when you go to the uh, america or maybe the european uh, pre press they are using the adobe when it comes to the general purpose they are using the uh, srgb because general purpose means you are using the photoshop mainly to Uh, uh handle um, photos uh, maybe for the photography and so on but for pre press of course you need vibrant colors uh, and much better spectrum so because of that they don't want to lose so it's up to you based on the image play between this because your machine can produce both with a limited uh, this thing uh, achievement but if you go with the uh, this thing you get more pure colors with adobe uh, conversion right so you can use either srgb adobe there are other profiles also or if you are a very professional photographer uh, in the photography what you have to do is you have to create your camera profile i'll show you that as well you create your camera profile have that as a standard so you have your stu studio you do your profiling and you create a profile and you apply it on photoshop right so when the image comes in as a raw format or whatever it converts that to that space because from there onwards this is going to be your this thing so basically what you will be doing is you pick it up with your camera profile so you don't lose anything because of the limitations of other device, other profiles you see first you see what you have captured then you convert to your digital press or uh, or your iso standards or whatever whatever so you know what you are losing and you know how to handle it without le with less or minimum loss right so i will practically show that when it, when when we go to the soft proofing side of it i will i just 
wanted to explain this. So this is where this rendering intent com comes in place. So in this also, when, when you go to the color settings, you can see this. Um, yeah, you, you can see what is the engine being used and what is the intent being used. This is what I'm trying to explain now, right? So this is very important because these are the things, the understanding is the most important to handle the color, right? So I have given you an ex explanation on that. So since relationships uh, ships are preserved, most people are unaware that colors have been altered. So this is what I was trying to make. Since the relationship is made, so they won't see any uh, you know, uh, surprises. So they, they think this is the best. This is a human nature, right? When you see something, now we think this is the best. When you get something else, we, we, we think, oh, that's much better. So unless you get that, the second best, uh, the most, uh, you know, you really don't uh, feel that, right? Okay. So uh, this is called the relative color matrix. Relative, what it does is, what it does is, it keeps the original one as it is and moves the out of spectrum, out of gamut one inside, right? So the colors fall beyond the gamut out of where are replaced by colors within the gamut, right? The lightness and the hue colors are preserved while saturation is compromised. Then over to me, watch na tika tiyer na. The saturation kya ne? Ape yara spectrum ki ape LED ano kota saturated colors. Then ape samane presentation ekano kota ape balane bright ma colors tika dhan na. Because ape RGB ke monitor ke pen na, right? Abe ape wadi print karna kota atul te na. Wah saturation ka adu yeno. Dullness se kat ke no. Ara mang kaling LED values explain karna kota teka mang ako kota explain kara, right? Okay. So then again, saturation is what it does is when you put it onto saturation mode. It will try to push whatever the colors out. That's the other way around to make it more bright, saturated, or uh, you know, flashy, colorful. What it does is it moves it out to the best possible uh, color area or values. So this will be pushed here. So if something is here, it will be pushed here, right? So that these are the key difference between, yeah. And uh, when you use absolute, the paper is also, uh, you know, especially with the proofing, when you put, put the absolute, you get the uh, paper also simulated. Right. So I think uh, the most important part is how you handle your color. That is the color management workflow. So now we will just get a basic understanding about how we handle color. Right. So you are using an Apple computer or PC or very, very good with, with good VJ card, or whatever, and a good monitor. So how your color is getting translated, this is how it does. First, you capture something from a scanner or a camera, right? The camera is provided with an ICC profile, or you can, if you are professional enough, you can create your own camera profile under certain lighting conditions. And you apply that. So you pick it with a raw format, you apply that and take it into your computer. You pick it from the scanner, right? And then put your ICC profile and put it in. Because uh, I will explain you further, when we create this ICC profile on this scanner, we use a mechanism where we put a kind of a photograph kind of a thing, like a chart, like same chart, but we use on the offset and so on, a smaller version, we put it and scan it. So that actual, actual, LAB values are on the in, inside the profile software. And when you scan that, what the profile software does is it compares these two and tells he that then it knows the relationship. Okay, the color was like this. When it was captured, it has lost this color. So this because of that, it will you know try to retain or alter it slightly to bring it to the better format. That means it knows that okay, it's supposed to be like this, it has dot dropped in this way. So it, you know, little bit adjust and give you a better outcome when it when you take it to the Photoshop. So this is how the profile works, right? So these profiles, input profiles are very important. And when you send this to somebody, let's say you are a photographer, you have captured it and you should send it to the profile because the, uh, the person in the, on the other end might be using Adobe, might be using SRGB or his own profile. So if you don't send your profile, he doesn't really know that how, I mean, what should be the actual thing? He will see something else. 
and while on the phone or on the, the discussion, he will be talking something and you are talking in a different language. So it's totally different. So this is how the profile input profiles works. It. Then you take it in. Again, the monitor, you have to create a profile and give that input prefix card, right? What it does is it takes your input and show it in a proper way on the monitor, right? So let's see what, what are the things generally check when you calibrate a monitor, but this is how the, uh, uh, the chain works. You take it in, show it. Then you show that and you do all the corrections here, take it in, put it to your printer. So everywhere without your knowledge, you have been using ICC profiles. Then the photo lab also the same thing. So do you get this picture? This is what the basics, right? And then the application settings are the most important when it comes to this thing, right? And you're, you're controlling your colors using your spectrophotometers, densitometers, and chart readers, whatever. Uh, the, this is where you bring in the control. So it's color management, okay? They can scan a king, uh, uh, capture karna, it would a profile like apply a la computer. A gun, a monitor at a pin and it's a monitor profile like apply a la make a pin. It would a method of a pick capture karna king, see at a anua curry, a sua curry, hurry the data with methane pin. Adu and pin what a hurry with data pin. Ekatama make management ticket in a important day. Adade, either anger, put the la capture one in alum. Convert money at the monitor la cartel, Sariana the cartro. So either an Kureva cartinal, Sariana the cartro, other important than a Mukemana Visham. So Ade Maritan printer at the Manapegla, Nanga the Sariana the cartro. Upper in the monitor love what a customer agree, let him what a poof or love what a customer agree, you are showing the correct color. Even though it's a dull or light, whatever, you are getting it approved with that limitations. Right? So that's how the workflow works. So this is how the so it, everything comes to a common space. That's the main idea of color management. Okay, right. Then we will talk about device link profiles, which is again, another little more uh, technical thing, but this is how the workflow works. Right, now that's device, that is that is profiles, right? So now you know, you can create any anybody who is interested, who knows to follow a certain process can do color management, as long as you understand this chain. So now, then up again, I got the how to create a profile. Over the profile, like Hadagan Nikinik among next slides will impend and hammer device academy. Illa device, the Naga profile on the create Panitan Aha Venom. Illa taking Naga standard profiles of Avi given Divarum, which is not a good idea. We will be losing if you use standard profiles, we'll be losing a lot or miscommunicate things. Right. So, what is device link profile? So device link profile means, uh, now it's like this. Now we do profiling. This is little tricky. I don't know whether you can get it because explanation is like little tough. Uh, that is, then um, over to profile at You have a profile, you have a profile, uh, right? Uh, let's say um, your Epson or HP or whatever, the inject printer color, Cyan is different, right? I, I think you would de de definitely would have seen it. The, the yellow, the cyan, magenta, yellow, and other colors are different from the uh, uh, standard uh, CMYK color, right? Uh, what you want use on the press. So when you simulate, let's say you are doing a profile and trying to simulate, you're trying to match the color on the uh, Epson, right? So what happens is you, even though it is cyan 100, on your press, your machine, your computer uh, will translate into cyan plus a little bit of magenta, maybe a little bit of yellow to match that color on your Epson or your proofing device. Right? Do you get me? Now, as a good printer, you will know black text should be black. If you try to color manage that into two, three colors and simulate it and different convert it to different uh, two, three colors, then you can't print it on the offset or on the flex. So these device link profiles are like already now, the, 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 right now the general profiles, what happens is the conversion happens on the go. You take it, right? You take it in CMYK color, you convert it to LAB, then you translate it to LAB in a different, to a different space and then back to CMYK. That's the standard conventional space. 
एक तमाम स्टैंडर्ड प्रोफाइल आप पाव चिकन को तो बेंडी ये वेला आवेदी ये मोती दिखता है एक बेंडी कलर में नहीं चिन्ह में राइट एक वरदान ने में एक फोन दाय अबे लिमिटेशंस टिका तीन हो ये लिमिटेशंस मुकाद्दे एक तमाम ओके उन टा प्योर कलर ना तम ब्लैक तम ब्लैक के का क्या ने ब्लैक के का सामान ने ब्लैक के का थ्री फोर कलर्स वाला टक करो मैच से ना बेटर बट ओके उन टा प्रिंट करा गाना बेरी हो ये तो कोटा मुकाद्दे इन्हें आप ही ओके देन नोने शुड डी ब्लैक क्योंकि ना प्योर ब्लैक इज मच बेटर देन कन्वर्टिंग इनटू थ्री टू थ्री कलर्स बिकॉज़ इट्स अनप्रिंटेबल सो ये यू कैन सेट सर्टेन रूल्स ऑन टॉप ऑफ योर बेसिक प्रोफाइलिंग इनपुट्स लाइक ओके माय ब्लैक टेक्स्ट शुड बी प्रिंटेड हंड्रेड परसेंट ब्लैक माय सीएमवाईके शुड नॉट बी टच्ड gradation should be uh, much better uh, behavior so there are certain settings we are to start the black we are to end the black we are to start the cmyk replacement we are to start uh, stop the replacement those kind of rules can be set in this way in the screen can you see when you create a device link profile what you are using is already you are formulating a table right with all these inputs input profile output profile and this set of conditions See the conditions are this: when to start your black, where to end your black, what is the curve? How have you ever heard the gray component replacement? That means, let's say in, in digital printing also, you can save ink if you do this. That is, uh, if you print CMYK, as I told you, CMY will give you black or, or a dirty black, right? But it is unnecessary because when you get it in RGB, you are getting it with CMY, right? कन्वर्ट कन्वर्ट करने वाले ये मतलब ये नहीं तो बोला अनावश्यक विधि है तो ब्लैक के किन तानी चैनल लेके इंगान ना पुलांग यू कैन गेट दिस इन वन चैनल ब्लैक कलर ये तो बोला यू सेव अलॉट इन इंग सो यू बेसिकली कन्वर्ट यू आर इक्वल कंपोनेंट लाइक ग्रे क्या ने ग्रे क्या ने सीएमवाई समान वे इपे इधर आने के इन्नें डा मोड़ा CMYK ला कलर आ कोणं दे अब आप आपने कैप्शन बन रही है ना वहीं कोण और अरे एप्पल का कैप्शन बन रही है और कैमरा ला सो सी आधा आरजीबी ला बन दे कन्वर्ट आगे बोल कोर CMYK इक्वल वैल्यूज वर अंदर वैल्यूज ला यू विल हैव CMYK ऑल द कलर्स बट थियरीज CMY इक्वल अमाउ so why do you want to use more color more color means more problems right on the print on the press uh, and more cost you use replace black on those channels so this is where the device link profiles comes into play do you get my point right and sometimes i don't want to touch my cmy basic colors because if you do that sometimes you will be printing other colors also in that separation so i don't want to convert let's say i want to convert from Quoted to uncoded because let's say newspaper, you have got an image with quoted. You know that quoted color space is unmatchable on your this thing. It's a limited one, right? So what you do is when you convert, you lose that. The loss has to be minimum, and the basic color should be retained. But the reason is, if you try to convert this to this, definitely it has to put other colors to match this color. Correct? What happens is then your purity of the color might go off. Well, you don't want that because you might have uh, rosettes because you use um, uh, big dots, right? So then you will see the rosettes and so on. So you don't want to. So you can set conditions where you say, okay, I convert it, it's okay, but don't convert my uh, pure colors and don't convert my uh, black. So this is the key thing on device link profile. I think this is very important. If you have any questions, uh, you can post it. This is what really happens. With this uh, conversion, so advantage is best possible pre uh, uh, preservation of black in balance uh, color accuracy, ensure smooth gradations, adaptation of thought link con consumption. Because during using these profiles, you can do on this. You can you can cut down your colors. That means you don't want to print this after after a point. Let's say you put equal CMYK. Let's say ninety percent, ninety percent, ninety percent. You don't really need that 99 percent, uh, 99 to 90 percent to get the same color. You may get that maybe uh, 60, uh, 70, and uh, 80. You got my point. So why do you want to waste ink, right? So those ink consumption, and also you are introducing problems on your press paper, unported paper. It won't print if you put more ink, right? 
So these conversions also can be done through the profile, right? So minimize ink consumption, harmonize incoming data, ensure correct overprinting. Because when you do trapping, you know the color trapping on one one top or one top of each other, you have the colors, right? So that also sometimes create issues, the different colors will come up, pop up and create issues. So you don't really want so, and or maybe you want to have a better reproduction of those trapped areas. So this, everything will be, uh, you know, uh, done by this preserving pure color. So uh, tightly focus control possible because input and output process are known. So if you have any questions, I want to stop it here. The reason is this is more important or maybe I don't know, I would have explained it uh, better. So these options are on top of your profile. So then it becomes a device link profile, which cannot be used for any other purposes. This is just purely for that link. Mainly we use these device link profiles for proofing. So all these proofings and rips will be using this concept. Okay, so these are the settings which actually does that job. So here, even the black curves, you can say medium, heavy, light, likewise. So you tell the rip, okay, I need replacement of black, CMYK equivalent black. Okay, medium means less. Uh, high heavy means a lot. Based on, your, so you can save a lot also. So there's certain, a certain digital process comes with this uh, model, um, uh, yeah, like, you know, economical mo module just to save ink for you or, the, on, the, or, or the, on the clicks, right? So this is the concept behind uh, that. Make a, uh, uh, this is very important. So this is what called the device link profile. Colors are automatic. We convert certain rules apply. That is a table create. And the table will be saved. Whenever we have a color, it will map. Okay. For this, I have to put this, this, this. Likewise, so automatically, the, uh, the, the, in advance, uh, the the device link profile has a table of color mapping, but the profile is generally, it is created on the fly or it, it's actually applied on the fly, but it has more flexibility. You can take it everywhere. You can put it uh, to different devices. Let's say I have created a flexo profile. I want to use it for my digital press or I want to use it for my inkjet printer. I use it as and when I need in a way I want. Right, I can take it every, anywhere I want. I can put it on the computer and use it. But device link profile is basically tied up within your production space with your machine, with your press. This is a key difference between these two. Right. So these screens, I'm going to run fast. The reason is now I have given you the important parts of it. These are how you do it. This actually slightly would vary based on software to software. So let's say how you create a scanner profile. Right. So scanner profile means what you do is you have to. Uh, keep in mind, this is where we make mistakes. Before creating the ICC profiles, certain optimum levels have to be set. So when you take a scanner or maybe you, when you take a monitor, brightness has to be set first. Then your gamma has to be set first. Then your RGB guns has to be tweaked. So these softwares will first do those steps. Then only it will show up the colors to measure. The spectrophotometer, We'll measure those colors after these all these prerequisites are met. So for scanner, what we do is there is a target, right? There is a target as I told you. You can choose whatever the target. So you put it on the on on the on the scanner. You scan it, right? Then load that image into your software, right? And software already has the original version of it. That means LAB values of the original each and every patch, let's say this color, it knows in LAB well. So what it does is it compares this against this. I gave you, I gave the, you know, it was like this, it was reproduced like this. So it knows the relationship. Basically, it knows. I can make it a software, uh, software, I can scan it on the ground. I can scan it on the ground. I can scan it on the chart. I can scan it on the chart. What we get is an image, right? We load it to the software. And we create a link between in and out. So that is basically, it's basically a characterization. Basically, profiles means it's a characterization of a device. 
for a human like okay i am like like this likewise a profile is a characterization of your device right so then it's just simple four steps you create a profile it creates and gives you a scanner profile the same way for the camera what you do is first you set your exposure whites these things you know better than me your white balances and you know which is better which is good for this uh, set uh, you know uh, this thing you put all these settings and your color space settings on like this like you know you can, you can put adobe or srgb based on your requirement and then you start capturing this so what you do is you keep this on a stand and you take a photo of this then the same relationship in out in now it compares those and creates a profile. So then the scanner, uh, the, the, the software knows, okay, okay, when actually we have a color, we have a pain on a color, we have a color, we have a color, we have a color, we have a color. So yeah, automatically, a relation, a color, actually, a color, we have a That means it creates, it knows, okay, I presented this, the, the, the user presented this for the camera, but actually this was the original data inside the software. So basically there's a drop. So, Again, what it does is it creates a relationship. Okay, then when it gets another color for the uh, this thing conversion, it knows. Okay, if it is like this, it's supposed to be like this. So as initially the the the, the Indian uh, um, lady uh, told us, what is what you see is what you want to get, not what the camera sees or what your scanner sees, right? So you try to get that relationship with a minimum loss. So this is how the camera profile or scanner profile can get you a good outcome of your of your object or your or your scenery or whatever so this is very important because if you lose on that then you can't get it that's the biggest problem we face as a pre-press because my background is more on pre-press as well so we get artworks or whatever with less in information less such less you know less details because unless you have details differentiation you can't do much when you do a color adjustment what it does is you it becomes flat if it is like this, I can make it like this or make it like this. But if it is like this, it just, if I do a small thing, it both looks same. So then you don't get all the details and other things. So best thing, you use a profile to capture it properly. Okay? Right. So the monitor calibration, it's again a simple process. What you do is first you set what is the temperature you want to maintain. So let's say I'm, I want to work with D65. Mata Vedakaran noni, Hyadas Pansia Kelvi, O Pandaha Kelvi. Aeka Okolanga Athenin Kinu the Apekaran Venua. It would ekapi metandan, it would be light take a tapi pachikaran ekai, balanit, a monitor balanit ekai, a pe prasiki in a metratin ekai, customer pendant of customer to kino, make a balan noni, make it. Right? Ekatame api salmon and light booth take a tiag and api checkaran, we always check Nagi or Penangi check under the light booth report. What a D50 and D65 should give a reasonably same results. If it is totally different, there's something wrong somewhere, right? So that is the reason we use uh, this. Then the luminance. Then overall, a monitor, like Apple monitor or something, you get a very, very uh, deep uh, or, or very bright white or very. Uh, do you think that that can be produced on your paper? No, right? So what you do is you limit your white by using this setting, the candle. So light too So we set all these things before you create a profile. So you standardize your monitor, you standardize your scanner, your press, printer, everything, and human eye as well. There are ways. So to get everything. Align. So, ek tamay idea ka. Ekena upko me ek level ekta pi gain hone. Apni denna me me inna kemo ko me me inne ke na ava. Apni ta metan ta gain na pula. Abey me ava me hete gain na ba. Dora apni karan ni hamay ton profile leke me ava metan ta plan kar. Upari. Right? Yeto kona eva tamay vade kar. Adada na anga illa the ondo ondo kitta kondo arada na engda idea. Right? So, then we go to the uh, real uh, profile creation process. So we set all these things. Uh, we, we say this is what we want. Then we say, okay, large patch, large number of patch means it will uh, display more patches here for more accuracy. Then your spectrophotometer follows your brightness, contrast, RGB, and everything. You can change. You can 
adjust according to the standards. It will measure and show you the actual, so you can adjust it like uh, this, right? So then you can adjust those inputs. Like, you know, you can, uh, let's say your brightness was more. You bring down your brightness according to the standards within the green zone. Your RGB was out. You bring the, uh, you can adjust the uh, RGB, right? On the machine, you change those things. And then make everything, your luminance, everything correct. Then it simulates more, uh, much better, uh, you know, uh, look of your paper without more brightness on the monitor. Right. So then later, what does it, why it, uh, it does is it uh, displays those colors, right? And then you scan it and you create a profile the same way for the this thing. So it knows the relationship. This is the actual being shown in this monitor in this way. So it knows the relationship. So it creates a profile, right? So that profile can be cross checked. There is a quality tool also in the good, uh, in the, if you use the proper softwares. What it does is after all this being done, it will again display a set of colors and measure it and give you a report. Okay, now the colors are being shown in the right manner. The same way as I told you that, uh, you know, the colors can be uh, matched in the right way on the proof. Like, you know, so likewise, this is the process for monitor profiling. Then digital printing profile, press profiling, I have used two screens. That is one is, I will mention the name. The main reason is, this strip is being used as a standard by most of us. Most of the vendors, if you take any digital presser, press, they will they are free to offer this rip, uh, not this rip, the other one that's called the EFI. That is a bit expensive, but they will. Uh, it's a kind of an industry standard. Everybody sells it, so that has a uh, you know kind of a standard. So it's easy to uh, for everybody to follow, right? So, but the process, I wanted to show both of these to show you that process is all more like same, right? So first I will show one of the software being used, mostly, mostly used digital press and the RIP in Sri Lanka. This is the setups what you have to do. First, you have to set up your densities because excess density means you are just wasting your color because it doesn't give you any benefit. It just introduces problems. So you set your densities. Right, because your target is end of the day, it's mostly to print uh, what you print on your offset. Right, so you set all these things. Then you say that we call it as maximum uh, uh, density setting. Then you adjust your gray balance to the right position. Right, then what you do is you do your density balance because in gen in digital process, the main problems what we have is zone to zone colors might change or print to print colors might change. If that is Severely happening, you can't do anything. You can't do color management. But these density balance, you can always check. That means you measure those things with the software and the spectrophotometer. It gives everything on the LAB values and you adjust that properly. So then your press is giving you a linear uh, print, right? So there is no much, not much of differences. Then finally, only what you do is you do the, you would have heard about dot gain curve or uh, linearization where every device, including your press, your eye or whatever has a dot gain. If you put 50, your press in a standard condition prints 68 to 70. That's the standard of ISO, right? So every device has its own dot gain. So we need to control that. So this, this part is basically, it's like a chart, you read it, you set, you do the calibration. So that means now, to create the profile, you have created the platform. Up to this, what you did was standardizing your process. After this, only what you do is you print your color chart like this. You would have seen enough in different forms. Then you measure it. That becomes a printer profile in a standardized control mechanism. Right? Then I have given you a clear idea about the create of device link profile. What you do is you link this to so basically now but the intention is this you have a digital press you want to simulate your uh, own color there may be a company name xyz that has a press that has a color spectrum or icc profile which is not uh, the iso standards but that is what it can do so what you do is you measure that create an icc profile you measure this and create an icc profile you link together and create a device link profile the same way if the customer says, okay, no, I don't want to match to that. I want to go for a standard ISO. 
what you do is first you standardize your press based on these ISO conditions. Then you produce a chart, the same chart on that, measure your ICC, create an ICC profile. So you have a press ICC profile and you have a printer that or, or digital press ICC profile. You link this together with device link profile. So, and apply your conditions. So this is how you do your color management when it comes to your press and your digital press. This is where you will have enough and enough problems on, on day to day life. So this is my strength also because we have worked very hard developing these uh, concepts or maybe applying this in the market. So as users, you will have to help uh, the suppliers to maintain these things. Because if you don't do the basics right, the profiles or whatever created on top of those basics will be of no use. basics linearization. monitor ोफाइले then whatever you said and done after that sometimes you have to do a small tweak that can be done with the profile adjustment tool that also provided with the soft task but we personally don't recommend to use those things because it will uh, tarnish your uh, color or maybe it might not be accurate if you do it do it wrong right so uh, be ready to compromise 20% uh, when you try to adjust, then you will have 50% problem, right? So that is one thing. So same way, this is the EFI rip I uh, spoke about because you should take something back to your uh, work. So that's the reason I showed two different uh, rip settings. So here also the same thing comes in, goes out to a printer, any printer. So you apply your FOGRA workflow and you know what is inside here. There you have to set up all these, these things. You have to create your base linearization. You have to create your media profile, set your settings, do your linearization, do your ink limit, unnecessary color, the maximum density adjustment, do your calibration and do your profile chart. Then you get a profile. Then you link that to your whatever the uh, source profile what you're going to try to match, right? So that your destination profile is generally your uh, inkjet printer or your digital uh, machine. This is how it works. So this is how we match your offset press on the digital press using ISO or whatever your own standards. And then the profile editor also can be given. And you can see the, uh, always you can see the profile inspector. Using inspector, you can see the gamut differences. So can you see there are different, uh, you know, you, the, so by looking at this, you can evaluate paper, you can see whether this machine is good, you can do many things. So these are tools for you to do uh, get, do the right uh, or the right decision. Hari decision ek ganne me tools paav chikaran bolon. Sir, yana mudi wala kadikar dikhe technicala naang ipuri yana profiles create panni compare panni decisions dikhe lam idhen allama katta da. To ink for your ink paper press whatever and also lighting and and every digital press has a spot color adjustment table. It is in this form um, where you can basically, because these machines are coming with CMYK. So basically you have to uh, add, uh, you know, the spot colors are, if all the spot colors, you can see here, you know, Pantone colors, everything is here, are match, mapped to a particular CMYK value on the press. But on the paper, sometimes it might be different because your paper might be a different paper. So you can always edit these tables and try to get the best results. So this is called the color editors. All the most of the high-end uh, rips will have these options. Right, so I have spoken enough. I think uh, I'm going to rush the last few slides. Um, this is uh, the main problem what we have in packaging. That is uh, what you capture here is different on the monitor and what is on the press is totally different. So what you do is by applying these color management principles, you try to manage it to the minimums. 
So always try to educate your customer because if you are getting the wrong one, it's not good for the entire process. So if you can explain this to the customer in a nutshell and show it on the, like, you know, the, as I showed you, it's more than enough for them to understand that they are losing something, right? So this is, again, I'm explaining the color management process. So first thing you have to do your balances, density balance. So consistency is number one. Number two, you have to adjust your dot gains by using the linearization curves. Then in modern process, the same solid densities can be uh, done in the same manner. Uh, you, you can put the print and scan it and take a, you know, uh, set the densities. Then calibration of your monitor is important. Then you do your characterization that is called the ICC profiles. So uh, I already explained how it is done. So this is the workflow. It's already well explained. Uh, you get it, convert it to a working space, show it in the monitor profile, again the working space, and go back to the printer. So this is how the conversion works. So the most important thing is soft proofing. So I quickly touched on that. So I, the, the, this is very important. That is now these softwares are having these color settings. So there is something called ask when opening, ask when pasting and so on and embedded profiles. So that means now all this time I told you, now when you capture something, you have to embed that profile and send it to. Or if you look at something on certain profile, you have to send that with that along with that profile embedded. So then only the receiver will know, right, this user has done all these workings based on this profile. So you have to always preserve your embedded profile when you save your files. And you have to set your working space. Right now, in this case, I am not a this US web portal is a limited space. It's for this basically for newspaper and those kind of. Uh, so you have always use a better space. So if you use the standard filter here, you will get all the standards loaded in. So you can see here when it comes to general purpose, these settings are not enabled. Preserve embedded, this ask and opening and things are not there. It will just convert and show you. So you don't know what you are looking at. So but when you put this, it will ask or show the difference. Make a pen and me the mum pen and tagada. Right? The mum image a copen karnoa. Maga setting a kama set karaganoa, color settings, general purpose kya. Hari? Maga langa images deka pina mang open karana. Dekama devi the open me. A kak maker. A kama de. A kak maker. Then, why operator can it? Bad karna. Why done it? Nay, color management mukad the gila. Right? Why make open karagata? Mama open karna maker. Why open karagana maker? They come make I. A come a data the metulatin. Have a correction nicker karan, a color correction nicker karan, okuda, make a balaganatama correction nickaran. It could already data take a loose karagatama in it. What Tavat may have karama, Tavat take a very bad day. So, hammer it a man, what only they was at Karagano. You thought a mama met an asset Karagatut, make a dagatut, automatically magic settings to come ahead in all, right? Mang okay Karana, then mama close Karana, meotica. I'll open this again. It says there is a mismatch because the embedded profile is SRGB, but your user has sent another. Embedded profile record is SRG. You want to use some work SRGB than a peer carry. And I need a working space power wickering adobe. You are oya pachukon adobe because my working space theatre, but where I use a what I hope it can have particular thing is SRGB. It's a potter where I very theatre my balan. It's got a make or on color the benetta may pass me a honey. Why then it never could I use current? It would automate a decision a gun of Pulang convert to my working space or embed this profile and show. So I can always use the embed profile to open this with the right way. So if them matter pay ne, enak teri rade, abar ek apni teri jido, or yaar ko amader pay nune, whatever he saw is what I see. Otherwise, I would have seen the wrong thing. So that settings comes in, edit, 
color settings, you have to set these things right. So Illustrator get tinoa, Photoshop get tinoa, Anit software sala tinoa, Corel Ray get tinoa, make a my setting it. Right? So may profiles get over and then the Madanoa. So make a lacy at the my field break a team. Right? So make a varad the gatu, api, api hame come over the right. It must say, a bit of convert carla, a bit of make a save caragana cotta. I make a save kind of save as methaning embed profile. May tick checker, the other than my one. It's a make a may artwork a can of putter, may profile with take a tama yanni, wagi, other indicator. It's a rather than all right, make a particular thing as Saji, a bit of a medical and noni as Saji baking at work. Natham of Karanade, Varadi. Right? So that is the most important message uh, I want to pass. And uh, in these slides, I have put those things also in, uh, in uh, you know, to show you the differences. I can maybe share the slides also with the uh, SLAP. Uh, and also, uh, last thing is the uh, gamut. This is also very important to understand what are the colors which are going to be out of gamut. View, sorry, view, Proof color killer them are working space ticker. You can put a uh, gamut mapping. So you see, these all these colors are not in my gamut. So colors are going to be lost. So I have to convert my image to the actual space. Then I won't lose any color. That you can do by using. Convert to profile. So I convert from sRGB to my ISO. This is the next important. So what happens is automatically you will be losing those colors and then you are converting that to your space or your, your press space. Right? Then I'm warning them with man. Hey, mama, convert karagata. Right? So uh, I think uh, this is what mainly I want to communicate, but uh, the densitometry, I uh, uh, I feel like because of the time and uh, this thing, because there are a few more slides which is there, but I think it'll take more time, more than half an hour to explain this. Uh, so um, I have touched upon these things, density, all these density values and everything I have already spoken. And I have spoken about the dot gains as well. Uh, and I have talk, spoken about the ink trap uh, very clearly. Uh, what influences is basically the film thickness, the tack or viscosity, the printing sequence and mechanical adjustments of your machine, impression settings. So these are the things what uh, actually affects your color. Right, uh, so ink trap. So uh, um, there, and also there. This, these are the recommended trap values. When you do the, your testings, it should be above this. So your ink is a good ink. It has a good ink trap value and produce, can produce good colors. Uh, then also the print contrast and other things. Uh, this is basically the densitometry part of it uh, to control your offset press. So I think uh, uh, I will uh, uh, do, we will do that in a separate session to understand this and SIP3 and those kind of things in the future. Uh, and also the hue error and things also very important because your ink can be contaminated on your press or it can be contaminated on your, uh, when it comes in. So there are features on your, on your spectrometer, in your spectrometer where you can measure these values and understand as I told you before, if equal values is just a gray, it doesn't change the color, but it changes your, uh, your, your saturation of the color or maybe it makes it more dull. But when the other color components are more, like these are called the hue error. Let's say on the, on the, on the yellow, more cyan component is there. That means your, your color, is, color itself changing or it's contaminated. So keep in mind, that is what you do with this uh, hue error and uh, uh, percent grayness um, and this best match is the last feature which I want to show you but I will go into details if I get another opportunity or something to talk more about this densitometry and things 
uh, this best color best match feature is also a very important feature where you can save a lot of time and ink that is this feature when you measure it and uh, check on this what it does is it tells you what is the current delta e value again then the delta e value a kai where thawa tikak make adjust karo on concentration like a venas karo what a thawa adukar gana pulang kine ka methanin kino adhavadi idhila ongolakku solludu ippa irukra delta e value ayyum ippa ninga ninga adjust panni ninga na pine inji percent ala ongolakku idhu inna in the law to catch even now so you you will always you know do that but certain colors it will tell you whatever you da, do you can't achieve that means certain colors the values let's say let's say now here you you see 2.85.4 here you don't see much difference 2.46 uh, and uh, this much is also less like you know let's say this best match value is more than 3 or 4 then you know that this ink cannot be used for production it has to be again mixed rather than wasting the time on your uh, on your press you can identify easily this is the best you could achieve with this uh, combination you, whatever you do on the press mechanisms or your curves whatever you won't achieve that color so this is another mechanism uh, to easily identify uh, colors and uh, uh rectify issues in advance without losing money i'm sorry actually i, I was uh, rushing to the last few uh, slides uh, uh, because i spent more time on explaining the the actual color management part of the software side so thanks a lot for the opportunities and if you have any questions uh, you can always post to me also personally uh, this is my details uh, and my email address uh and or you can uh, send it through uh, lenard or slap they are doing a good job uh, helping the industry so um we are there to help you all um please post your questions if i don't know i will find it for you and uh, yeah reply back thank you uh thank you uh, vasanta uh thank you uh, very thank much you. thank you very much for your great presentation dinesh as thank the printers We have get a vast knowledge about the color management of this webinar. Now this is time we would love to hear from our participants. You can ask any question from the presenter. In the question, you can ask directly from the presenter. Send your question to chat box. Is there anyone? Is to ask questions from the presenter right now, sir. This is Arul Muri from India, sir. I am in Ashling University, sir. Our request, yes. sir. This is very useful session for our students also. Uh, if this video is posted in YouTube, uh, can you can you please share this video so that our students also will get benefited, sir? Right. Uh, I think the. SLP should answer that question. I am not wrong. Uh, I'm I'm okay to share that. Uh, 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 yes, Arul Mali. I think uh, uh, after this session, uh, this entire video is posted on the SLP dot LK website. Uh, so probably Monday, if you can log into our website SLP dot LK, uh, you can view the YouTube video. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Adi Mali. Thank you very uh, thank much. You. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for your participation. Is there anyone else to ask your questions right now? Uh, Dinesh, uh, good morning, Dilan Dil Dil Silva. I just like to ask a question because I'm amazed with this presentation because you made it so user friendly. Thank you. To understand, but I would start is at a startup point of you know we are not. in the calibration stage yet but to yeah. start up what is the first step which we should do uh the first step i would say you should get a uh, the calibration unit i think that is a i think you can invest uh, it's a very reasonable amount uh, from any uh, you know supplier uh, uh, that i would say that and also that the soft proofing uh, with, uh, because even without a profile if you have the standard uh, profiles you can still work on it but i would suggest uh, because if when you buy that unit you will have a uh, have 
the freedom to check many things so maybe the, that small investment might take you to the next level um and also keep the color under control on day to day basis uh, because this is where the problem comes because even though we calibrate as a service and give it to the customers if they don't maintain it on daily basis or before they do it beforehand uh, they do a good print or whatever the large volume then uh, you are losing uh, because uh, the situations will be different especially on the digital presses so uh, i would suggest uh, everybody whoever buys a press or whatever this small investment uh, maybe around 200 300000 investment will help you to analyze colors and uh, light and uh, check densities uh, you know maybe uh, you know uh, understand the colors and evaluate your incoming stocks or maybe do profiles compare it those kind of so many features you are getting so uh, i would say maybe the uh, the, the color color chart reader would be a good ideal uh, investment maybe with a small densitometer with, with just that uh, dot gain and uh, density to control your press uh, and start using these settings on coral row or, or this thing already you are using it but with the knowledge know how so then you can easily translate that uh, to your customers also so they they will give you a better input uh, than complaining on your colleague Thanks, Vinay. If you can also share it in a single, also just for the yes. एक यानि मिस डिलान हाँ वो प्रश्न है मुकद्दा भी चांदनों ने पालवनी यहाँ वकीन है क्या क्या ने आप ही मामा सजेस्ट कराने वो बोलों चूटी डेंसिटोमीटर का एक आठ लाख से देखा तूना आप कितने बैंड पुला अबे इम्पो डेंसिटोमीटर का इम्पोर्टेंट प्रश्न का खरीद में वगैरह करना है � मोनिटर कैलिब्रेशन स्कैन कैलिब्रेशन साफ्टवेर मोनीटर प्रोफाइल स्कैन प्रोफाइल कैमरा प्रोफाइल प्रेस प्रोफाइल इवेलुएट करना इंके विषय Uh, so i think that should be the uh, first thing what you should buy with the you know uh, to control most of your uh, problems thank you thank you very much mr dilan for your question uh, is there anyone else to ask question from presenter yes mr dinesh uh, i have to question yeah uh, What's the uh, proper time to uh, calibrate the digital press? Proper time is to first when you buy the machine, you have to do the entire calibration. I showed you mm -hmm. all the process, which are basically some are done by the technical uh, staff. So they will do the balance and things. When the balance goes out, you can always shout at them and they get it done. But the linearization is what always changes like, because of that. Then digital presses get them. प्लाटा 
अनित्य का पेपर का पिनास करो नेतांग मुनहरी करो ये तो कोटा प्रोफाइल लाख अनिवार्य कराने होने नेतांग हरी आउटकम में करने में सो मैं एक तमाय क्या नहीं अदाद निंग और मशीन मांगी निंग है ना निंग अदा फर्स्ट आ कैलिब्रेट पानी कोलोन में लापे पर सिक्का बट अंदर लीनियराइजेशन का प्रोसेस है निंग ये दन आलम सही है ना आदम असली वाला और नाले के रंड मुंड तरावन सही है वाणी बारम पेरीय जॉब साड़ी करेंगे ना ये ना डिजिटल प्रिंटिंग मशीन्स ला कुन्यम फ्लक्स इतने हम अभी तो मैं आधा वो इंद्रन आलम सही रहता है ना बेस्ट थैंक यू ओके थैंक यू डिनेश आई होप एवरीवन हैज क्लियर देयर डाउट्स राइट नाउ सो राइट नाउ वी हैव रीच टू द एंड ऑफ दिस वेबिना बिफोर वी क्लोज दिस आई वुड लाइक टू इनवाइट मिस्टर सिंथिल जनरल सेक्रेटरी ऑफ एसोसिएशन ऑफ प्रिंटर टू गिव द वो Thank you very much, uh, Vasanth. Uh, indeed, you now we are in the tail end of a great presentation uh, by our resource person, the Chief Executive Officer of uh, JDC Group, uh, Mr. Anthony Dinesh Mervin. Uh, Dinesh, uh, uh, your experience uh, for the last 20 years in uh, Flexo Prepress, uh, digital printing, uh, offset, and uh, Flexo Press. Uh, standardization and color management i think we witnessed today uh, the kind of uh, experience uh, that you shared today was uh, well worth of listening i think the entire audience will uh, endorse me uh, our best they enjoyed and a lot of takeaways today uh, in terms okay. of uh, calibration uh, spectrophotometers working spaces uh, device link uh, profiles and you also showed some practical uh, experience so you you also showed us on uh, gamut mapping and uh, color workflow uh, so indeed on behalf of the association we are much grateful uh, for your time and as you said uh, probably we need to meet up for another session to continue this color management uh, training program because a lot of questions and i think a lot of uh, areas we need to uh, talk about it because this is the area where we got to have a lot of uh, doubts especially uh, the technical personalities. Uh, so I hope that Leonard can support us with all the questions and emails. So probably we can bring up a communication where you can support us uh, to enhance the industry. So once again, thank you very much, Dinesh. And I also should comment about your trilingual abilities. Fantastic. I think it saved a lot of time. Uh, very good work. And uh, I really enjoyed the way that you presented all your slides. Uh, let me also thank our <laughs> thank you Dinesh. Let me also thank, thank our uh, commercial partner uh, Flexi Print. Uh, indeed, uh, I like to thank uh, Mr. Satish Abey Vikram, Managing Director of Flexi Print, to come on board uh, to sponsor this particular event, and he's also the past president of our association. Uh, as thank I you, told you oh, Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. also. Thank you, thank you very much. And also our president, Mr. Peter Decker, his ideology, his concept, when he took over, he made this year his year of learning and he made it. And uh, he is, is not uh, giving up. I think every Saturday he is uh, bringing webinars <laughs> so to engage and enhance the entire industry. Thank you, uh, Peter. And also our immediate past president, Mr. Dilan Silva, only during his tenure that he started this training and program. And I think we continue what he started. Uh, thank you, Dilan, for the entire uh, gamut of your service. And our training and development uh, committee chairperson and our first vice president, Mr. Viraj Jayasurya, and the project chairman for today's session, Mr. Malinda Tenakon, uh, Vasanta Bandara, Amila, Niroj, Shamila, and the entire team. Uh, job well done. And let me also thank our uh, association uh, manager, Mr. Leonard, for bringing up all the logistics in place. And I hope that he will make sure the YouTube link is available for all the participants to review uh, and to uh, get back if there to be any doubt. And even uh, I'd like to thank uh, our uh, participants from India. Thank you very much for joining us. And uh, Last but not least, uh, the members of Sri Lanka Association of Printers, 
I think at uh, any given time, uh, we had 100 plus participants uh, during the session. Thank you. It really shows the enthusiasm and it really motivates us to do a lot of uh, workshops and seminars. Let me give you one uh, notice. Uh, uh, dear members, uh, we are meeting again next Saturday, which is on 30th of October, same time, 10 to 12. Uh, we do have a, a presentation from Ernst and Young uh, talking about uh, uh, adapting digital technologies to convert current crisis into opportunities. So I think it's a trending topic uh, today. So please join us next Saturday uh, for this webinar. And uh, with that note, uh, let me conclude today's session and I give back the controls back to President Mr. Peter Decker. Over to you, Peter. Dinesh, thank you very, very much for your for all your effort and time taken to come forward and uh, educate educate our printers on color management. It was really, really it, and we appreciate very much and look forward to having you more in the near future. Have a good weekend. Thank you very sure. much. Thanks a lot for your efforts. Thank you. All the very best, Dinesh. Excellent program. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, Dinesh, for a great session. Thank you. Thank you, Vasanta, Thank for uh, for a job well done. Thank you, Vasanta. Thanks a lot. Thank and you. thanks, everybody, Sentil and yeah, Viraj thanks. and the team, everybody. And Dilan. Thanks a lot. Thank you. It was great, uh, Dinesh. Fantastic. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks a lot.